Hi Taurus, it's Athena. Okay, welcome back and happy Valentine's Day for those of you that are celebrating Valentine's Day. All right, we're going to get started. I'm going to do the old spread that I was doing before because I liked the intricacy of the message. Um, three or four cards to the right and left. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of February, I've got my heart here. All right, for the month of February 2019 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These cards are really, like, they're huge. It's hard to get. It's hard to get a good shuffle in. Okay, I hope you guys are going to have a great, wonderful February. Let's see what the universe wants you to know, Taurus. Bring in happiness, prosperity, and love. And everything. Okay, let's do it. Let's do four cards on each side because that's what I did before. Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands coming right away. Wow. Fast communication, Palace of Cups reversed. That's not an issue. I will clarify. Oh, gosh, the Seven of Swords. Dog on it. Why? All right, and let's see the fourth card on top is the page of coins regarding some money but let's look let's see what it, let's see because this could after you get the clarifying cards this could unfold into a whole different scenario even though the seven of swords is not a good card i'm not going to like <laughs> i'm not going to say it is yeah it's about money ace of pentacles reversed Hold on. Two of Swords reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, not being able to go for, yeah, kind of confusion, who to trust, where to put your, where to invest, where to put your money. I don't know. I heard that, so I said it. Okay, so we have here, using your intuition is most important for you guys in the month of February. You need to use your intuition when it comes to your relationships, especially when it comes to business and money, relationship in business. We have the Eight of um, Wands, the Palace of Cups in reverse, so not feeling, not feeling it. And getting it, some information here about someone stealing away and you, you're you needing to take it slow and steady with regard to making a decision, especially when it comes to money. Maybe a business deal, getting involved with someone with Someone in business is really shady right now, so I would not do that, Taurus. Because we have the not being able to make a decision about money and not not moving forward. And it is about money, and maybe there's you know where to invest my money, um, who to invest with, who to you know a business partnership. Whatever it is, take it slow. Take it slow. And it's good that you are. Because it looks like with the page of coins, you are. Because you don't have trust. There's no trust in something. Something happened, right? You can see the volcano erupting in the back. of The fires. You know, you've already been through a situation where you had an issue with trust and money and investments and et cetera, business partners, et cetera. So it is crucial that you take your time and s slow it down, 
not making a decision because you have a lot of options here. So weigh your options out when it comes to business deals, signing, do not sign anything right now. Yeah, I would take I would take it very slow with with regards to business situations and money. Anything to do with money, agreements, investments. You know what? This looks like the same person as this. So so be mindful of those around you and that's why your intuition needs to be heightened you need to get intuitive into use your intuition with regard to an earth sign this could be just an earth sign this could be external to you or a younger Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. If it is you, then just all I'm going to say is I'm showing you it as it's the page. Because if you are deciding, if you this is not you, go slow and steady, right, with making a decision. Or someone you were involved with stole from you. And the trust in this situation is being questioned because... You're not sure about anything right now. That's why I don't make any decisions. It's all about finances. Don't, I and you know, don't do anything unless you are guided by your intuition, especially with this um, blood red full moon. Yeah, let's get some clarifier clarifying cards on this because this is really important right especially if you want you know you're planning on making some kind of a deal in February I would hold off until you know for certain you need to use your intuition for sure about people and investments Some, some movement, someone wants to move quick and someone doesn't. Let me show you because I just saw it. Someone wants to move quick and someone doesn't. And here's the joker who did. I say the joker because, you know, taking what he can get and and splitting right okay so you are going to be triumphant in victorious in finding out information choose wisely there you go using your intuition choose wisely you are going to be tempted you're going to be tempted and you need to use your intuition with regard to anything in terms of business deals, choose wisely. And you will. You've got the triumph, triumphant card. This is like the king of wands. The king of wands, not the knight of wands. So let's, let me, let me um, explain that. The knight of wands is the young one, right, who says, oh, you know, let's make this deal fast. Sign on the dotted line. Hurry up. And you're like, wait a second. You said, wait a second, because you are taking it, you're taking it slow. And the other person, but you have, you have, you're triumphant because you chose wisely, is my point. You took your time. You graduated from a night into, this looks like a night as well, but it's, it's um it's not he's an older male figure so he has gained wisdom and knowledge and strength being the horse to move forward 
He's strong now. He's not going to be he's not going to be used again in a business deal. He's not. It's not going to happen cuz he's you're going to go slow. You're going to know to go slow when it comes to your into to investments, to your money. There you are because why? You're the boss. You're in authority. You have the wisdom, the knowledge. You have gained I just said wisdom and knowledge. There you go. Okay? You have gained wisdom and knowledge. And it is, it could be um, an issue of a home. And wanting to make money with someone, pal up with someone, maybe someone moving in. Something like that. Investing in a home. Putting money down for a home. Whatever it has to do with your home and money, be very cautious. Do not do anything silly so that new beginnings can start on a fresh, in a fresh new start, right? Making decisions smart. There it is. Your foundation. This is all to do with your home and money and achievements. I'm also hearing hide your money. Don't show, don't put all your cards, yeah, balance, okay? Don't put all your, don't put everything out there for the world to see, Taurus. Be elusive. Be elusive, balanced, and use your intuition. When something doesn't feel right, we know what that means, right? Your stomach, it starts in your stomach. When something doesn't feel right, it's in your stomach. It's a gut feeling. That's what intuition is. If something says, hey, this doesn't look right, then just listen to it. Take a step back. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so what else? Let me see if I can get anything else here. They're, they look like they're they're doing hand hands you know a b c right um, doing for maybe someone's giving you signals through hand motions look at hands when it comes to making deals and don't sign anything um Yeah, like, right? Um, the choice is over water. The choice is using your intuition because that's intuition. Same thing here. And you've got the full moon here. So during this full moon, don't do anything. Don't show anyone what you've got. Don't put your don't put all your cards in the table and don't put all your eggs in one basket. That's what I hear. Okay. Let's see what the ascended masters say regarding Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You may encounter some drama with people with regard to, you know, you're making your decisions slowly and balanced. You know, some people may want you to make quick decisions and you're like, no, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't want to do that. So use your intuition, Taurus. Someone may want to sell you, you know, some goods and they're not good. There's a snake in one of these. There's a ladybug. There's a snail. There's keys. Most importantly is this snake right here. Got to be real careful because you have a snake around you. You got the seven of swords. That's, I mean, that's obvious. So be empowered to make your own decisions with authority. 
you are the king, queen of your castle. And you know it, Taurus. So make your decisions smart. Have strength and, and go with the flow. Not everything that glitters is gold. Healing, abundance. Yes. Healing and abundance is coming to you as long as you're smart, steadfast, balanced. Take your time. Your achievements are, are definitely there. Just don't let anyone talk you into anything. If you need to, sage yourself. If you need to, purify. Clear your energy field. Clear your energy field by saging. You have an all-knowing. You know. You know. You know what you need to do. This is the same as balance. This is the same as balancing Balancing everything out so that everything's fair, but not putting all your cards on the table. Literally not telling people what investments you have. There's a snake in the grass. And the book came out. Rewrite the story so that it, it empowers you. You are the one. And listen to your intuition. Once again, cards are reiterating themselves. But it's okay because you it needs to be said. You need to listen to your intuition. It's coming out for a reason. And it's not just coming out once. It's coming out twice. And heal from this past deception. There was deception for sure. Seven of Swords. So then... You can be placed in a situation where you are very confident that the decisions that you've made are the right ones. This is you knowing that you followed your intuition, you're at peace with yourself, you're balanced, empowered. You are in authority to now attract what you deserve. You used your intuition and you're going... You're going right for it. That's good. Um, I'm thinking that this is a relationship that has to do a business partnership or a relationship with someone who you have a very strong bond with. Okay? But you need to make sure that if this is regarding a house, a foundation, a, a lease, a buying of property, selling of property, be very careful. Choose wisely use your gut you're going to balance it out and it's going to be fine look at and this book reminds me also actually now that i look at it this book is about um assets and debits look at your books really close keep an eye on your accounts Keep an eye on your accounting, debits and credits, right? Your ledger. That could be in business, by the way. Doesn't have to be just in your house. That's a, that is any money that comes into you and or goes out. Someone may be stealing it at, at the job, right? Someone has been maybe taking money from your, from work, from your, your job. You're the boss and someone's been taking money and you didn't know it. Someone's been stealing money, maybe in a business. And you're going to find out about it. It's common. And or you're going to use your intuition and say, oh, hold on a second. I have to look at the books and balance your checkbook. Balance your checkbook, balance your, your business ledgers, everything. And then you're at peace because you know you did the right thing. All right, let's go to love. Don't mix business with pleasure is what I hear. Okay? It's not, it's not a good combination. Don't put anyone's name on someone's codependent on you. 
Taurus or, or vice versa, right? It goes both ways. So get to know someone before you give them free reign to your business, to your home. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We have a past life relationship here. Staying optimistic. Be optimistic. Always keep positive thoughts. And believe. Have faith that, you, you know, where you're going is the right place. You have a new love coming in. It is being obviously guided by the angelic realm. They're helping you out. And it's a new person. There's your codependency. So someone's codependent on your... <coughs> someone's codependent on you for financial stability. We have true love. So this new love is true love, but make sure it's not a codependent issue. We do have religious factors on the bottom of the deck. Could be age difference, could be, you know... Uh, um, one has the wealth, the other is trying to get the wealth, and not in a bad way. Look at, they're both looking up to the heavens. That's an interesting thing I've never seen before, putting these two cards together. So, guided by the universe, religious factors, you know, one believes in, you know, has a religious background, the other spiritual. You're going to be at peace. One's dark, one's light. Someone's dark, someone's light, Taurus. So, there's a lot of passion in this relationship. Again, dark and light. Again, dark and light. I don't mean, I mean dark hair, light skin. Maybe one's Mediterranean and the other is, you know, Irish, right? Something like that. This is a new love. And this new love is a true love and a twin flame. And you've had a lifetime. You've had a past life with this person. See that? And I'm hearing that the past life, in this lifetime, one of you is the, is you reversed roles in this lifetime. So the, the blonde hair in the male in the past life could have been now the female in this life. Could be your mate who's female, but in your past life, you were the, you were the male. And now you're the feminine. Vice versa. You get my point, right? I, I'm i just hearing it, so I'm saying it. I love that it's a twin flame situation here. Really like this. You've, you've decided, Taurus, to love yourself. You've made that, you've made that agreement with yourself to take time to heal from the past. So now you're offering an able to receive what you so rightfully deserve because you did that. I'm seeing maybe traveling to Europe. I'm thinking Rome. I don't know Italy. I'm thinking a trip to Italy, to, to France. I'm thinking more Italy, the columns here. I'm feeling Italy big time here. There might be a trip to Florence. Florence, Italy. That's what I hear. And it's beautiful there. So, yes. Mm -hmm. And in this past life relationship, this was like in ancient times you were together, you know, Egyptian roots from Egypt.
You have the eagle here. Eagle. Higher knowledge, learning. Mm hmm Okay. That's what I'm getting. All right. Now, as a surprise, I have Sweethearts, Dreaming Big. Now, I, I wish I would have done my own, FYI. It would have been nice had I done my own Sweethearts. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Sorry. So, happy Valentine's Day. Let's do it. I'm going to get one of these beautiful little Sweethearts to tell us what is going to be your message from your sweetheart, right? I'm not looking. Obviously, I can't even... Half of these you can hardly read, let me tell you. All right, this is the one. Healing. Interesting that it's green. <laughs> so, it says let's. What can I tell you? I can't read the bottom of it. So, I'm going to say let's or let's kiss. I'm hearing kiss. Let's kiss. Just let's just let's. I like that. Let's. All right. So Taurus, it's beautiful. Beautiful reading. Really good. Twin flame soulmate. I, I'm, I'm going to take that back. Twin flame relationship, not soulmate relationship. And you know, they, some of you don't believe in using those words at all. I think of the twin flame as a life partner. So I did not, I digress. It was not soulmate. It is twin flame, which is your true love. That's what a twin flame life partner is, right? Your other half. Okay. I send you love and blessings and have a great Valentine's Day. Thanks. Bye.